the left ventricle and look at that amazing view huh? mm-hmm. try just move a little bit the cursor more towards the middle yes perfect so it's very likely to be dilated tilt the probe slightly more towards the head pointing towards the head you're going to open the, the, the valve here okay amazing perfect even see a tiny tiny uh, uh, insufficiency of the pulmonic valve can you see it here yeah um look look at the, uh, such a nice fish mouth view you are doing can, can you see it yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see the mitral valve is not moving normally. It, there is, I think there is a, I think there is a prolapse. That's a be- super beautiful. It's, I mean, it's super beautiful. Do you know why I'm telling you it's super beautiful? Because it's very difficult. It's very rare that we can see the, the this leaflet here, the bottom one. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you can see the two opening and closing, and then twice. So, can you see this septum here? The septum yeah. is, is flaring. Eh? So flaring means that it's not it's not straight line. It's not an horizontal yeah. line. It's starting to get a bit pushed. Yeah. to the right so that suggests volume overload and close to start to be pressure overload mm-hmm. so it's known and needs to be monitoring this patient quite closely at home perfect uh, we have super nice views from this side really really nice view which i'm not sure if we have done it last time mm-hmm. do, you, do you remember if when I, do you remember if i mentioned to you something called e y v r t so i'm going to show you so can you see this line here yeah can you see this one here yeah okay so this time is that this click here, this white bit, is a closure of the aortic valve. Uh-huh. The, the, the bright one here is the opening, and you can see it here as well, there as well, is the opening of the mitral. So it's called isovolumic because the volume of blood doesn't change, relaxation time. And that can uh-huh. give us an idea how what is the risk of heart failure in that patient. Uh-huh. Okay? okay? To give an idea to the owner that, you know, you know just be careful because we our predictors for MECO is that he might develop yeah. heart failure sooner than what we'd like or something like that. In terms of uh, a follow-up, I would recommend you again uh, to see this patient probably in, in six months, yeah. probably not longer than that. And I would recommend, if possible, to measure the pressure today and again in, yeah. in, in six months. Okay. okay. So definitely warn the owner that he needs to start monitoring the breathing rate at rest and call you guys if the breathing rate is persistently over 30. Cool. Okay.